Hey, what's up? Oh, geez, Riddle John, you're right on time. Holy cow, man. You started right at the start of this. Um, what's up, dude? And uh, hello, everybody. Hopefully you can hear me good. Let me know if I need to speak up or anything or if I'm talking too loud. Um, I'm going to bring up the chat on my computer so I can see you guys. Um, yes, I'm still talking a little funny, but I do think I'm sounding a lot better. Um, I'll be getting there soon. On Tuesday, I have a, a checkup. The last time I see a doctor was uh, kind of through a Zoom call. Um, so, or not kind of, it was through a Zoom call. And I just give them an update on everything. Uh, but on Tuesday, I have an opening to go see them and to just make sure I get checked. Because uh, it seemed like uh, my seizure might have caused another problem that I didn't even consider. Because I don't remember what happened, obviously. So, uh, it seems I may have had a concussion and I may have, ha I may still have it <laughs> uh, because uh, like I said, the lights have been bothering more, me more than usual. So I like doing these streams because the lights aren't aimed right at me, which is nice. They're not aimed right in my face. Um, and uh, also um, because of my hearing going in and out uh, and the amount of fatigue I've been having, um, it all signs point to me probably still suffering from a concussion, which means that uh, it's unfortunate I didn't get my helmet on in time before my seizure because I must have hit my head on the ground, which makes sense because I did have a really big lump on my head and it's still kind of there. It's fading now, but uh, so yeah, it's, it's just, I, I guess I I guess I didn't really think that was a possibility or I didn't think it was. So the other couple of days ago, we found out it looked like it was and it definitely is. So it seems like, so I'm going to get an exam on Tuesday. So hopefully I'll be fine. And hopefully over the next few days, I'll start sounding Back to normal again. What's up, Ferris? How's it going? So the, uh, those of you who are here, thank you for being here. Um, feel free to leave a thumbs up or any comments. I will definitely react to them. I figure what we'll do today is we have this Lego set. I actually been wanting it ever since I saw that it was coming out. And uh, I was going to wait to get it. And actually, uh, John offered to help me get, a, get one. Um, but then my mom surprised me with a, a care package that had some cool toys in it. And one of them was this Ghost Rider set. So I think my mom, she knows me very well. <laughs> so uh, this Lego set here is available through Lego. And now I can make more Lego videos and talk about Lego. Uh, and people maybe don't think I'm uh, paid for by them because <laughs> now I no longer work for Lego, um, unfortunately. I really wanted to stay working there. Um, but I unfortunately, just with my health, I was, I had to pick one job and Eventually, Lego will get busy, and there'll be three, four hundred people in the store, and my health would not be able to handle that. So I think I made the right choice by going to Harley Davidson for my health. But I do miss Lego, and I really do love working for Lego. So it sucks that in, twice in one year I had to quit Lego due to health problems, um, which really sucks. Uh, so I didn't, I don't like that at all. Happy birthday, Ferris! That's right. Well, it is not, it's not your birthday here where I am but it's your birthday where you are. So happy birthday where you are. And then tomorrow I'll wish you a happy birthday again. Um, so this Lego set, you can buy it. It's 212 pieces. It's called Spider-Man and Ghost Rider versus Carnage. Very simple. I think they did one before two years ago called Spider-Man and Ghost Rider versus Hobgoblin, uh, where it's the Ghost Rider on the motorcycle. And we already made a video on that. So if you're watching this, this is an episode of Highway to Hell and uh, I'm glad I get to make more episodes of this show because I thought we were done with Ghost Rider. But we got this Lego set. We had a new comic book come out last week, so I'll talk about that. And I also have some collection videos that I recorded like three months ago, <laughs> four months ago now, that I never edited. So I will try to get those out to you guys in the next week or so. So today we're going to talk about Ghost Rider, specifically Robbie Reyes. That's who drives this car. Ghost Rider Johnny Blaze, Ghost Rider Alejandra, and Ghost Rider Dan Ketch are all Ghost Riders that ride motorcycles. Um, and then there's Carter Slade, who rides a horse, and he was like a Western Ghost Rider. Robbie is an updated Ghost Rider, um, where he is a street racer that lives in East Los Angeles. Um, and his comic book, his first issue was here, created by Felipe Smith, a very talented artist. Uh, I had Felipe, he signed this for me, which was really nice of him. Um, and I got him to sign that, I think, what was that, uh, Meltdown Comics. He went to a signing. He was there. So I went and met him there. Uh, and Trad Moore does the artwork on it. Then uh, he joined later uh, Ghost Rider, uh, Robbie Reyes, joined the Avengers. 
So I have Avengers number one here, written by Jason Aaron and art by Ed McGinnis. And this too is signed. Um, and this time it's signed by Gabriel Luna, who actually plays Robbie Reyes on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And this signing happened at Golden Apple Comics in Los Angeles. So um, yeah, uh, you know, I'm a big fan <laughs> of, of uh, Ghost Rider. And, and when they released this new Ghost Rider, I liked Alejandra and I like Robbie. Um, although he's a different kind of Ghost Rider, we'll talk a little bit about him and his powers in this episode while we build this Lego set. Um, but he's a little different than the typical Ghost Rider. Uh, so I kind of like his story. It's pretty neat. Um, and then I pick this issue here, Absolute Carnage Symbiote of Vengeance. The reason I pick this is because it has Alejandra on it, on the cover, and uh, Johnny, I think Johnny Blaze is there too, uh, or Dan Ketch, Dan Ketch and Alejandra, but it has Carnage on the cover. And so since Carnage is in the set, I figure I should have a Ghost Rider comic with Carnage on the cover. And I think this might be the only time Ghost Rider and Carnage met. I know Ghost Rider met Venom a few times, but I think this might be the only time he's met Carnage. So, um... Yeah, that's right. In your country, it's January 11th. Yes, that's true. So uh, thanks for the thumbs up, whoever left that. And uh, now that we've kind of done a little intro here, I also want to mention before we get started, uh, my friend Adam Ward, uh, he's a guy who used to shop at the Lego store I work at when I lived in California. And he was someone who actually hired me a few times to help him build some really cool things for kids uh, uh, who were in the children's hospital and for other events that he was doing. Uh, he's a really nice guy. He does a great show on YouTube. Um, and, uh, and he has, uh, I think it's Soul Pancake does segments with Adam and, uh, and Adam's a really talented guy. And he came up with this book called Brick by Brick, which you can get right now at your local bookstores or on Amazon, wherever you want to get it. And it's, uh, based on his YouTube show, 19 original remixable builds, uh, how to build amazing things with a hundred ish bricks or fewer, uh, say what? <laughs> Yeah, this is something, it has a foreword, by the way. Oh, by the way, he writes something very nice in here for me. He says, Seek, you rock, dude. I feel like no matter what immensely challenging crap that life throws your way, uh, you continue to uh, not only get through it, but make the most of it all. Uh, Florida is lucky to have you. Thanks for your help, enthusiasm, and all that you do. I'm happy to know you. I hope you enjoy this. Uh, Adam, I already read half this book. And I very much enjoy it. Uh, Adam bought a lot of the bricks he used in this book. He bought at our store, uh, some of them, a good chunk of them. And so when I was flipping through, I go, I remember him looking for these pieces in my store. So I guess the whole time I've known Al uh, Adam for the last few years, he's been making this book. Um, and uh, that's really awesome. I'm glad it finally come out. Hopefully this year I have some books come out too for you guys. Uh, King of Neverland, the King of Neverland trilogy. Uh, I hope it comes out for you guys. I, it definitely will this year. I promise you that. Um, and then he has a foreword by Rain Wilson here. And then there's just all these good family photos and pictures and uh, little uh, like stories and things and clips, uh, talk, things he talks about on topics on his YouTube channel, uh, little challenges and things like that. Um, and then just, uh, you know, all these really cool uh, little uh, stuff that, that's alive, you know, like let's make plants, let's, you know, think he kind of themes the book. Um, robotic looking things. Uh, he calls these remix it up where you take pieces and you build one thing and then take it apart and build something else. Um, so yeah, he's very talented. This guy is super nice. And uh, look at that. You can make a Lego uh, phone dock so you can hold your phone on it. Um, yes, like these are really cool stuff. So I'm about halfway through this book now and I'm really enjoying it. So if you're a Lego fan out there and you want to check out a really good book written by a really talented and awesome dude, Adam is your guy, brick by brick, and also check out his YouTube channel um, and check him out on Soul Pancake. Really awesome guy, uh, Adam Ward. Um, so I wanted his book back there too in, while we build this since he's part of, uh, part of this and I can give him a shout out now and I will try to do a proper review of this book for you guys in the next, hopefully two weeks. I'll try to get it done by the end of the month, but I, I need to make some time to read the rest of it. Uh, but, but I am really enjoying it and I pulled out some Lego pieces to have some fun along while I read a book. And it's it's a lot of fun. Hey, what's up, Daniel 8000? Sorry you had to quit Lego. I got the Cantina for Christmas, so I'm very lucky. You are very lucky. That's a beautiful set. I hope you enjoy that set. Um, Riddle John, happy birthday to Ferris. Uh, that's right, happy birthday, Ferris. Uh, did you get a shout out? Yeah, he got it. I gave him a shout out, I think. Uh, what are you talking about? I give you shout out all the time. <laughs> Just saying your name is a shout out, right? Yeah, I said happy birthday to you. Um, 
so yeah, you guys all give uh, Ferris a happy birthday in the comments there. Um, so, all right, so here we go. We are going to build right now this 212 piece set for Ghost Rider. We're going to be here live. If you guys want to talk, ask Ghost Rider questions, feel free. Uh, we can talk about the Avengers run by Jason Aaron. I've, I'm caught up on it. Um, we have Absolute Carnage. We have the Ghost Rider run by uh, Felipe. And then we also have the second Ghost Rider run by Felipe, which only lasted five issues. It was called Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. And uh, I have issue one here. I have every comic book with Robbie Reyes in it. I figure since I collect everything with Dan Ketch in it, um, I would also collect the other newer Ghost Rider. So I have every issue of Alejandra's book. And uh, when she was Ghost Rider including this issue where she dies. And then I also have every issue that Robbie Reyes has ever been in. So yes, I'm a big fan. So of course, when I saw the set, and you know what's cool is I met Gabriel Luna. One day he come into my Lego store in California. And uh, and I, and that was when the first Ghost Rider set came out. And I said, hey, maybe one day they'll make a Ghost Rider set based on Robbie Reyes. He says, that would be awesome because I'm a huge Lego fan. Well, Robbie uh, or Gabriel Luna, who plays Robbie, uh, this is a shout out to you. I hope you like this video if you're watching. And uh, it was a pleasure meeting you all those times in California, even though I don't live there anymore. Um, but the times I got to be there, see you at the Lego store, see you at Golden Apple, um, you were always the coolest guy in the world. And I support your work. Uh, you were the main reason I saw the new Terminator movie. Um, and you were the main reason I kept watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. because I kind of gave up on that show until I heard Ghost Rider was going to be in it. And, uh, and then I started watching it again. And I'm, it sucks because they were going to do a new Ghost Rider show and Gabriel Luna was rumored to be in it, but then it didn't happen. I don't know why. So, so all right, let's talk about Ghost Rider. Um, so Robbie Reyes is actually um, this character here, obviously. Uh, Robbie is a Ghost Rider who lives in East Los Angeles. His, he's Robbie Reyes. He has a younger brother named Gabe. Gabe has, um, I can't remember if it's, cerebral palsy or, or, or what can what uh, I guess ailment he has um, uh, but he is in a wheelchair and Robbie is trying to um, provide for himself and Gabe and I think Robbie has Robbie and Gabe have a mom I think is part of their story too and they live in a bad neighborhood and he wants to get out of that neighborhood and he feels bad for his brother because his brother is handicapped and has bullies and gets beat up a lot so Robbie decides that he is going to um, enter a street race. He's a mechanic, and he's going to enter a street race. Um, and, uh, and if he wins the race, uh, he wins enough money to where he can move his mom and his brother out of East L.A. and into a, a different neighborhood. The problem is, is Robbie doesn't have a car, so he steals this Charger, um, which is the similar car to what Vin Diesel drives in Fast and the Furious. He steals this Charger, and... Um, uh, from a mobster, he doesn't realize who he's stealing it from. He steals it from a mobster, gets in the car race, and loses, and gets in a car wreck. And as the car bursts into flames, he's met by a, a demon of some kind, an evil spirit, who makes him a deal. I'll save you from the fire right now, and we'll turn, uh, and you'll turn into a ghost rider. Um, but you have to say yes to me possessing you. So Robbie doesn't want to die, obviously. He wants to help his family, and he wants to win that race, so he says yes. And then he becomes the new Ghost Rider. And then throughout the story, you find out that that person who offered that to him is actually um, not really a demon at all. It's actually his uncle named Eli Morrow. And his uncle was a serial killer and also a Satanist uh, who killed 37 people. And... Uh, yeah, he's now he's uh, a, he caused he after he killed the thirty seven people, he um, started a ceremony with those thirty seven people, that would trap his spirit into his into this car that was tied to this mob boss that he used to work for. So then Robbie, uh, you know, coincidentally comes across that car because the mob boss drops it off at his uh, uh, garage to get fixed because Robbie's in high school but he's a senior and he works at a car garage uh, after school. Um, and he has to uh, deal with this spirit of his evil uncle and, uh, and work out a truce with him. Uh, he, they also go a little too far. They show that his uncle is the one who pushed his mom down the stairs when she was pregnant with Gabe. And that's why Gabe has a disability. I kind of wish that wasn't part of the story because uh, it feels like it's just going too far. Um, I just, it's like, why can't Gabe just be born like that? Why does it have to be something like that? So um, I don't know. I wasn't a big fan of that part of the story, but the rest of it I do like. Um, 
And I really liked the Robbie Reyes character, and I liked the Gabe character, and I thought they were portrayed very well on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So I just tell you a little bit about Robbie Reyes um, and about his uncle, and uh, there was a villain named Mr. Hyde that was selling a new drug on the streets that his uncle was connected to. So now that uncle's evil spirit, Eli Morrow, is possessing um, Robbie Reyes. And so together, like a symbiotic relationship almost, they form Ghost Rider. And uh, that means when he's in a car or any vehicle, it will catch on fire with him. Um, that's kind of his, his visual thing is that. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of Ghost Rider. I do like motorcycles, um, and uh, which is great now that I work at Harley Davidson. Um, and I, I'm also just a big fan of like uh, supernatural things in general, like uh, uh, angels and demons and, and things like that are just really cool to me. And I think Ghost Rider has a really unique story to it i don't really like johnny blaze's story it's fairly simple he just he sell his soul to the devil um in exchange for his dad to live or survive cancer but then his dad is cured of cancer but then the next the very next day his dad die of a, a motorcycle accident so the devil of course uh, is a sneaky guy and he and he uh, tricked johnny blaze um, so there's a little tragedy in Johnny's story, but I just never been a big fan of that story, but I do like Dan Ketch, which is the second Ghost Rider, and, uh, he found out that him and Johnny Blaze are actually brothers, and that their mom, uh, was a Ghost Rider before them, temporarily, um, and now the curse has been passed, uh, from, uh, Johnny, the spirit has left him, and has now been, uh, bonded or corrupted by, um, a villain named Zarathos, and uh, a, a, like a spirit. And now Johnny is, uh, ooh, is uh, you know, and now Danny is, is the Ghost Rider. And then he, then Danny stopped being Ghost Rider. They just, they end the series. And uh, recently they brought uh, Danny back. So Danny's actually in this issue here, and he's on the cover with Alejandra. And I think that's the first time they actually meet in the comics. I think Alejandra has only ever met Johnny Blaze. So I thought that was cool that they had her meet Dan Ketch in this one. But unfortunately, Dan Ketch couldn't save her. And uh, and she couldn't save herself because she couldn't beat Carnage. He was too powerful. Female Ghost Rider. I missed the part where that's my problem. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, well, there is a female Ghost Rider, Alejandra. She's there. But uh, this is not her, obviously. This is Robbie. Um, but I would like an Alejandra Ghost Rider set. I would also like, uh, now that we have Johnny Blaze and Alejandra, or not uh, Johnny Blaze and Robbie Reyes, I'd like an Alejandra set and a, and a Dan Ketch set. That would be great if we could get those. I guess technically the previous Lego set could be Dan Ketch also. They don't really say which Ghost Rider it is, but um, I don't know. He doesn't see, I don't know. The bike looks like it could be Danny Ketch's bike, but uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell. I'll just pretend it's uh, Dan Ketch. Um, but yeah, so so anyway, so after Ghost Rider's first series, this one here, it was it lasted 12 issues. They did a second series, which is this one here called Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. Um, but it only lasted five issues. It didn't really sell that well. Um, in this series, he makes kind of like the Fantastic Four. It's a uh, He's Ghost Rider. Remember when the new Fantastic Four come out? It was uh, Dan Ketch Ghost Rider. It was Grey Hulk, Wolverine, and Spider-Man. So in this one, they had Silk instead of Spider-Man. They had um, X-23 instead of uh, Wolverine. They had uh, the totally awesome Hulk, which is Amadeus Cho. And they had Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider. So this book is, is about those four teaming up. Um, so that was pretty cool. So that was their second series. Um, and that's all I really remember about that series, actually, is just the fact that they all team up. Um, so I don't really remember too much about the, the actual story, unfortunately. So we got that and this. Boom, boom. And then after that, I think Robbie Reyes kind of float around the Marvel Universe a little bit until he land in Avengers number one here. And Jason Aaron had this big plan to do a story where it was like, all right, we have uh, ghosts, like the, the Avengers of the caveman age 
which I think is just the stupidest story in the world, to be honest with you. Um, and they did this whole celestial story, which was really stupid. Actually, I think Jason Aaron's run on Avengers is probably one of my least favorite things Jason Aaron has ever written. Um, I, I kind of like some of the Thor run, although I haven't read the whole thing, but I do like what I've what I have read. Um, but uh, I also just don't uh, I don't know I don't like a lot of the um, the the Avengers stuff. I just think it's really stupid. Uh, just really, really stupid, because they're like, "Oh, look, there was a there was an Avengers team in the Caveman Age, and instead of Thor, they had Odin. And instead of Black Panther, they had like the very first Black Panther, which was like a caveman." But I'm like, "I don't. That doesn't make any sense." <laughs> like, was Wakanda founded with cavemen? Is it that old? I never knew that. Um, <laughs> and were they the first uh, civilization to invent fire because they're advanced? Like. Well, I don't get it. What what's going on with that? And so and the star brand, which is just a lame character to begin with, and uh, and then I, all these other things. That I just I don't know. I I just thought it was there's a Ghost Rider that rides on a giant woolly mammoth, which is yeah, it's a cool visual, but it's so stupid. It just I don't know. Whatever. Um, so anyway, so I don't really like what he's doing with Rod because also it says all right now we have the modern day versions of. Black Panther and Ghost Rider and all this. I'm like, yeah, but Robbie's not a spirit of vengeance. I'm going to assume that, well, their Phoenix is on the old, the, the caveman Avengers too. So I'm like, so wait, there was a Phoenix that bonded with a human before Jean Grey? Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, uh, I just, I think these writers are, are just not very good at what they do sometimes. So that was my, that's my opinion. But I, I yeah, I just don't like what Jason Aaron is has done on Avengers. I think it's so stupid. Um, and uh, and yeah, so the Star Brand, the Phoenix, the Ghost Rider. I'm like, well, the Ghost Rider must be a uh, Spirit of Vengeance, right? It has to be a Spirit of Vengeance. But Robbie isn't. So how can Robbie be the modern manifestation of the Caveman Ghost Rider? He, he I mean, he he's not. He's 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 possessed by his creepy satanic uncle. Well, is that also the story of the caveman ghost rider then? I don't know. It's it's just so stupid. Um, I don't like the idea of a ghost rider before Carter Slade, the, the cowboy ghost rider. Um, I don't know. I just it's, it's just silly. All these writers are like, I'm going to add the definitive origin of all these characters because that's what I do. I'm cool and awesome. And you're just kind of like, no, you're all lame and silly and and your ideas are, are really terrible. Please don't write the definitive anything, please. Just tell a fun story. And I know a lot of times these writers say, that's all we're doing is telling a fun story. It's like, no, but you're not, though. You're really not. You're, you're, you're trying to write a definitive origin so that way the next movie is based off your version of these characters. And that's ego. And, and that's them wanting a paycheck for a character they didn't even create. Like, I don't get it. Hey, what's up, Kristen Connell? How's it going? Um, oh, that's okay, so, Ferris. You're good. Um, was there a Kensel Ghost Rider series meant to be after Hellstrom? I could completely be wrong, though. Um, was there? Was it meant to happen after? Well, when was the last Hellstrom comic? You talking about the 1991? Because there was. There was Dan Ketch Ghost Rider, and Dan Ketch Ghost Rider lasted 90-something issues. So do you mean that one? Or, uh, oh, you're talking about the TV series. Yeah, there was supposed to be a Ghost Rider TV series. We mentioned that earlier. Uh, since we're building Robbie Reyes' car here, uh, Gabriel Luna, who plays Robbie Reyes on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., he was going to be the Ghost Rider in a new live action show. We didn't, I'm assuming he was going to play Robbie Reyes again. I don't know. But yeah, that never happened. We talked about that earlier in the show. Uh, but I have, Rob, I brought it up because Robbie Reyes, uh, uh, Gabriel Luna, the actor who plays Robbie Reyes, he signed Avengers number one for me at Golden Apple. Um, so yeah, so I got his signature. And he also, I met him the first time at my Lego store in California. And I always said, I, mean, I said, I, you know, he, when I meet him, we had the Ghost Rider set that was the motorcycle one. I said, hey, wouldn't it be cool one day if they made a Ghost Rider Robbie Reyes set? And he said, yeah, it would be. And then look, here we are two years later um, and we're building it. So that's pretty awesome. All right. And so far we're doing okay. I know I'm taking a while, but I like catching up on comments and 
rambling with you guys. So hopefully you guys are still enjoying the stream. And I appreciate the, the thumbs up and everything from you guys. The nine thumbs up. It means a lot. Thank you. All right. Final, final stages for the car. What's going on? Oh, so wait. It was, oh, so that's when you... Oh, okay. What? So why would it... Okay, whatever. All right, so we get that, and then the front one's here. So it's telling me to take these off so we can put the flames on, but why would you want this thing without the flames on? You could buy the Speed Champion set, and that has a, a, a charger with no flames on it. So, yeah, just what a waste of time putting those pieces on. All right, so we got that there, this here. And then we have to put, um, oops, do this twice. Put a little circle orange stud into this yellow um, clip and put it on there like that. Oh, well, yeah, so we got some extra pieces there and some extra, whoa, wait, what are these? Where do these go? And where's, oh, geez, let's, uh, I'm like, wait, that doesn't have a cover. This doesn't have a cover. I'm not done. Oh, and these go here in the back. I totally missed that step. What's up with that, bro? All right, so those go there. All right, so now, oh, and this is Spider-Man's webs. So he gets these can hopefully see this put it in his hand so that he looks like that and then i think you just do this yeah pretty cool huh? you just flick it not even really have to flick it you just push it push it in ah take that carnage <laughs> uh so yeah that's kind of a cool thing so there's spider-man there spider-man and carnage right here i've already, I already have a carnage and this one looks pretty similar to the other one so um yeah, it's kind of cool. I do like this carnage. Yeah, no problem, Ferris. See you in a second. Um, and then we have the man, the man of the hour. This is a, a, a Highway to Hell episode, and it's about this guy right here, Robbie Reyes, um, and his new car. This is awesome. Um, I'm a big fan of this set. I'm so glad. Because when we got the first Ghost Rider set, I was working at Lego and I was shocked. I said, I can't believe they actually have a guy who made a deal with the devil as a Lego set. <laughs> That's just impressive to me. And now we have a set about a guy who makes a deal with a psychotic, satanic uh, serial killer. Um, and now we have his Lego set. So how awesome is that? <laughs> uh, thank you, Lego, for uh, doing something this extreme, uh, even for you guys. Uh, this is pretty cool. Um, there is some other Spider-Man sets out there. There's one with uh, Mysterio and Doc Ock and uh, Spider-Gwen, and for some reason, a giant Spider-Man money truck. And then there's this uh, secret lab of Spider-Man where you get his big time costume, it looks like, his uh, neon costume, the, the Scarlet Spider costume, it looks like over there, um, and the, uh, the Iron Spider costume, and then his motorcycle, and then his secret lair, which uh, I guess he kind of has in the Into the Spider-Verse movie, but this set also comes with Venom and Green Goblin. But I already have plenty of Venoms and Green Goblin minifigures and sets, uh, and I don't really care to own any of that stuff because I have a Scarlet Spider figure too, so I don't really need any of that. So I'm probably not going to get those. I already have all these characters and other sets, so I'm not going to get that. I just wanted this set because it was Ghost Rider, and Ghost Rider is the man. So uh, now I'll just hang out with you guys for a few minutes. Uh, last thing I want to say before we get to the comments and I catch up, then I'm going to let you guys go. Make sure again that you go buy Adam's book, Brick by Brick, if you're a Lego fan. Uh, this is my friend Adam Ward, and he uh, does a YouTube show on his uh, segments on Soul Pancake. It's a really great channel, and uh, this book is about him teaching you how to build many, many sets with just using 100 or so Lego pieces um, that you can find in most Lego stores or just are easy to find pieces, and it'll help you build really cool things. Um, so like for everything from sea creatures to plant life and everything, and yes, he wrote a nice intro for me here. I've known him for a couple years now. He's super awesome. If you're a fan of The Office, even Dwight uh, from The Office, Rain Wilson, loves this book and is a big fan of, uh, of this and Adams. And I think they work together on something. So uh, really cool that he got him to do that intro. So please go pick that up. You can find that at uh, your local bookstores, Barnes & Nobles, things like that, or even on Amazon.com. Uh, brick by Brick by Adam Ward.
So anyway, um, that's going to be it for this. I got to go. It's been, what, like an hour and a half. So that's pretty good length for this episode. Plus the last half, we didn't even talk about Ghost Rider. We talked about, this is what I mean about the sidetracking, but I'm glad you did show up, Jay Money, because I wanted answers about that. So uh, for those of you who were here for Ghost Rider, I'm sorry the last 20 minutes were so boring. Um, you know, hopefully you still like the first hour of this video. And uh, next time we will have more Ghost Rider videos. Probably next week, a new comic book came out with Ghost Rider that is about vengeance. So we'll, uh, it's called King in Black, Spirit of Vengeance. So we'll probably talk about that. And then um, I have some more uh, collection videos that I recorded three, four months ago that I'll edit and upload over the next few weeks. So between now and the end of January, you'll probably get three or four more Ghost Rider episodes. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all being here. Thank you. I will see you all in the future. Peace.